Hello everyone, Giacomo here. This time on Yu-Gi-Oh! Engineering, we'll be tackling another fun favorite archetype, a uh, high mean engine. Uh, <laughs> I hope you like big de I mean big decks, because there is going to be some milling involved. I guess it comes as no surprise that we'll be talking about Light Swarms. This archetype was introduced in Light of Destruction all the way back in May 2008 and almost instantaneously it was a complete competitive hit, scoring tops at Shonen Jumps and the World Championship in the following months. There are various effects when it comes to Light Swarms, but there is one thing that they all have in common, and that is the effect that sends the cards from the top of the player's deck to the graveyard also known as self-milling. The idea behind this engine is rather simple. Send cards to the graveyard and abuse the ever-loving crap out of them. Since I was unable to find a definite build for this engine, I'll just present the one I'm using most of the time. I find it has decent capabilities both for milling and other stuff. The engine contains free Raiden, Hand of the Light Sworn, free Lumina, Light Sworn Summoners, two or three depending on the deck copies of Phallus, Light Sworn Archer, two or three copies of Solar Recharge, three copies of Charge of the Light Brigade, also depending on the deck one or two copies of Curious, the Light Sworn Dominion. This build helps with milling and provides decent draw power. It makes it so you can not only shorten your deck by milling, but also drawing, replenishing your resources. One of the biggest pros of this engine is the milling aspect. It makes it so the deck is much faster. It also has some decent swarming capabilities and, like I mentioned previously, a draw power. It can do pretty much everything. Like with everything, this engine also has some downsides. The biggest one is the fact that the player does not have any control over the milling, therefore important cards can be caught in those effects. The additional fact that most of the milling effects activate and resolve in the end phase, making it so you cannot use those effects during the turn you play the cards, makes it a rather slow one. Also, you have to always consider the fact that if the engine cards stay on the field, they might provide a deck out victory for the opponent. It's not a great discovery or secret that this engine is most useful in decks that are great for alliance, something like the Shuranoi Zombies, Dinosaurs, Infernoids. It can also be used in a dark centric decks in order to provide a chaos spin, something like, I don't know, Thunder Dragons? That will be it for today. If you found this video informative, remember to leave a comment or a like. Well, catch you guys later. Bye bye.